Well, hello guys, it's me, Hawk16. Welcome to another tutorial for IBU. Uh, today I'm going to show you uh, how to upgrade our um, IBU exe file for, for crossover. Uh, uh, as you remember, the last time we started to um, run uh, I view uh, uh, Windows uh, version on Mac OS Catalina. So uh, as we couldn't have the um, uh, upgrade of our uh, I view file, um, we are going to download the newest um, the newest release of uh, uh, the I view client. So we are going to go to download, um, as you remember I'm going to walk you through it again. We are not going to um, download this, this file, we are going to go to release notes. Uh, go way back, way down. And as you see the one we used it was 538.0. It is on, on our crossover, right here. Um, so we are going to download the installer, the Windows installer uh, 538.4, right? I don't have to download because I already did yesterday. So um, what we are going to do, we can close maybe the browser and we are going to delete this one this uh this upgrade uh, what it's going to be it's going to um actually uh fix some of the problems that we made the uh, that, that we had the last the last time uh i received some feedback so um what I, we are going to do is delete this one yes because we are not going to run uh, IV back again on, on that one as we want to install the Windows application browse unlisted applications continue we can go to finder and drag this one here or double click on it So now we have this one here. I rather use the new Windows 10 uh, version. It's just for you to uh, run it on a on a bottle or uh, it's, don't don't worry about it too much. It's it doesn't change much. It's just the dynamics and the window. So okay, now we can install it. And as we and as we are um, as it's in, in this process, we are going to go to system preferences. Security and privacy. Once we uh, unlocked it, you see there. It's getting the safe unlock. Um, there's going to pop up the message where it it's going to uh, ask you ask us uh, what we are going to do with the exe file we are using. So we are not moving it to trash. We are going to cancel the the, uh, the movement of of that uh, software that of that file. Okay, now that it's installing, having the install process, you see macOS cannot verify the developer. But as we unlock the, this this feature, you're going to hit cancel. This is going to be uh, this is going to pop out a message. We're going to hit the allow anyway, so it can continue with the setup process of installation. And we are good to install. Uh, remember guys, I actually 
um, use the um, uh, version of code weaver uh, the code weaver scrolls over see um, this is this is the program we we use uh, to run crows over it's the only way to have it it's uh, on the codeweaver.com um, and see the products for crows over Mac um, I really encourage you to get the you, you have free trial uh, I think it's 30 days and it's amazing how you can efficiently use uh, iView. So um, I really encourage you to uh, download and try it. Uh, if not, uh, I'm going to leave a, a personal file on the description uh, that will get you to use the version I have in. And well, uh, hope you hope you get. Um, to make it work properly uh, as I tell you in, in the last video is a it's a it's a time limited uh, feature because I'm I don't know whenever it's going to be upgraded and it won't be able to use uh, that version uh, of cold weaver that I'm using um, so to be more assured uh, about um, for how long you're going to use it, uh, I really encourage you to have the the paid um, the paid version of of crossover um, of crossover uh, application. So, uh, well, now that the install uh, the installer has finished. Um, the Windows installer have finished. Let's see if um, IMU opens. And I'll tell you what to do next because there's a little trick about how to um, manage to run the whole process and have the old, all the features for IMU uh, to make them run properly. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I have to hit it. Okay, so what we are going to do next is going to type the, the app turning and hit login without getting the password running. So it's going to pop out a message, uh, obviously, that we have a, um, a problem, right? And the password combination, we hit OK. Okay, we are not going to continue using because we want the process to finish. So we are going to hit the X and pulse the tab. The preloader is there. So what we are going to make is remove from dock. And we are good to go. Refreshing the menus, refreshing the associations not as we did the last time that we hit the X and uh, skipped some of the installation uh, features. So we're going to hit done. We can drag this to the dock for us to run it later. We can close the Time. 
so well now that we have our avatar uh, loaded we are good to go we are good to run the program as as it always uh, supposed to um, this includes the the glitch that the chat rooms the public chat rooms had with no friend list on on the side so um, I haven't I haven't checked on how to, uh, on on uploading um, images on this creative mo mode but what I I actually uh, think that you could do is use the new creative program for uh, Mac OS Catalina uh, this includes the uh, 1048x uh, 1048 uh, size pixels pixel size uh, images so that increase the amount of, of textures you can you can have I'm going to make a video also for creators who want to use the new um, beta testing uh, creator mode for Mac OS Catalina if you cannot make it run in here so don't worry it's uh, Mac OS uh, people who is interested in creations uh, will also be able to continue continue creating or start again um, so yeah guys I really thank you for watching um, I'm going to continue uploading new videos for new features and stuff that uh, you might be able to use and, and things uh, that it's going to make your life easier on on continue using IMU on the old version and the newest versions. Uh, also, um, remember to hit like um, and subscribe if you like to keep it, uh, keep uh, getting more information about uh, about this. And let me know what you think. Uh, you know, I always. Uh, I'm going to reply the messages, so thank you very much. I'll see you next time. <laughs>